Career, just yourself at the Midlands, can you describe this three years have been for you at this at this tournament? I won it twice. Right. Second once. It's good good feathers in the hat, but for me at this point in my career it's about the performance, not about the title. And uh, my performance, you know, today, especially today, wasn't wasn't what I wanted. I mean, I gotta figure my pace is high, but I gotta figure out how to be smart. You guys are kind of skating away. I gotta reel them in, score more points. So I mean, it feels good. Two-time Midlands champ, runner-up. But um, you know, there's there's always work to be done, and tomorrow's a new day and new opponents. And you know, it's a great thing about wrestling. You know, it's, it's it's over now. You know, these guys are gonna go back and they're striving to be where I'm at. So now I gotta keep training. And tomorrow's a new day. I think it added more fuel to my fire for this tournament because it was, I mean, yeah, it was my title and then I lost it and now it's my, you know, now we gotta go get the Big Ten title and the national title and keep those two years. Thomas, do you ever look at how Iowa matches up against a Penn State or Oklahoma State as a tournament team? Have you guys talked about that at all? Not really. I mean, we're doing our thing right now, and that's all we can do. You know, when, when we get the Big Tens or the you know national duels or national tournament, that's when we worry about it. But really, we shouldn't worry about it then, anyways, because it's about the individuals and how, how we perform. And you know, if, if I do my part, Clark does his part, so on and so forth. You know, Penn State, we shouldn't have to worry about them. Anyways. So you know, right now, you know, it's still the thing about Penn State. Really, they're not here. You know, even if they were, even if they were here, we wouldn't be worried about them just because we're worried about ourselves. If I had Meg Lewis in my bracket, then I'm worried about Penn State. If Meg Lewis is in my bracket, not necessarily worried about Meg Lewis. You know, but I'm still worried about Meg Lewis. So those, the, whoever they put in front of you, that's who you're, you're going to deal with that day. Right, whoever they put in front of us. I mean, if it's Penn State, it's Penn State. It's not. It's not. But we got to solidify ourselves in the tournaments where Penn State's not here. So if we pull all these teams out of the water, then Penn State's looking at it like, holy crap, you know, Iowa's a real deal. But, you know, it's a little close, Penn State's like, yeah, they're not a big deal. So, you know, we're not wrestling them physically here, but mentally we are. Does Iowa have to prove, though, it is more of a tournament team, a better tournament team than a dual team this year? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, therefore, winning this tournament you would do that feather in your cap? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, we're, we're an excellent uh, dual team, but tournament team, I'm not sure. Penn State's always kind of, you know, had that above us. You know, they've been a better tournament team with Dake, and, or not Dake, I'm sorry, Taylor and Ruth. You know, they score a lot of points in the national and the Big Ten, you know, but they can only score so many points in the dual. You know, so, you know, they got some guys on their team this year. I gotta match him in those points. You know, if he's getting pins, you know, I better get pins. You know, and if I wrestle him, I gotta come out on top. That's how we're gonna win against Penn State, and that's a whole way down the line. And not only that those guys are out there, but, you know, you got Tomasello out there. Right. You know, those are guys you're training for. You want to beat Nathan Tomasello. You want to beat Nico Magalutis and, and whoever else they put in front of you. But what do you guys, you know, you're a great leadoff hitter, first off. How important was the leadoff hit tonight that you got for the team title? It's great. I mean, I, I kind of coined the term trailblazer for myself. You know, I like going out there and starting things off right. Uh, just getting the fans excited more than anything. You know, I think it... You know, gets the ball rolling, you know, with Sorensen picking up the win. You know, maybe I go out there and I don't win, then maybe it takes a little fuel out of Sorensen's fire. I don't know. Probably not. Sorensen's a tough individual. He's so, uh, got the right mindset, but it, it always helps. You know, I go out there, I win. It's good for those guys. Is there any doubt you can't win the team title this year? What was that? Is there any doubt you guys can't win the team title this year? We're winning the team title. We just got to put, put matches together, put days together. Um, you know, we're, we're like... You know, you guys said we're a good dual team. We just gotta put that in the tournament. Team. We put one, two, three, four, five matches together. If it takes one of five matches to get on that backside, we gotta do it. So, I mean, we were right there at the Nationals last year. We just had a few guys that didn't put multiple matches together. We gotta get ten guys put multiple matches together, and then we're the team. Uh, the team title. We got a lot of work to do. So for you, coming out and getting a takedown right away on that first 30 seconds, how key is that for you to kind of get things rolling, come out, and score right away? Uh, it's key, but in my mind, it, it really 
wasn't a factor in the match just because I I, uh, I took him down, I cut, him, I kicked him away, and I, I wanted two or three more takedowns, but I, I didn't get him. So you know that would have been key for me to get a couple more takedowns. But you know I kicked him away, I wore on him a little bit. Um, you know maybe it's more psychological than on the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. I mean anytime you can get a quick takedown.